Hello everyone and welcome back to Humble Acres. Today we're going to be working on the garage again. Uh, I did finish getting all the metal roofing on there and you can see I finished getting all the metal off of this side of the barn as well. Which, these are all the 10 foot pieces that I didn't pick up yet and I used pretty much all of the 8 foot ones. I think there were three left that I didn't use. One of them was kind of ruined. It was kind of all broke up and then there were two good ones left so anyway we still have all the metal on the other side of the barn that we need to get off as well but I'm probably gonna save that for next year or some other time I'm not gonna do it this year but I do have all this metal still which I don't know what I'm gonna use for but I'm sure I'll find a use for it I need to get all stacked up on a pallet and get it put inside what we need to do now is get some siding for the garage because obviously we have quite a few holes in the side and what I'm thinking is, hopefully, I can get these boards off of the barn. But the big problem is, they're on there pretty good. So each stud has like three nails. I guess some of them have two, but most of them have three. And I just have a feeling it's going to be very difficult to get them out of there. But I guess I'll just start prying and hopefully something will happen. I also am a little worried that this is going to make it even weaker. Every board that I take off of this is just making it that much weaker, but we'll see what happens. So let's get to work. I also wanted to give a big thank you to everyone that has been subscribing and has been subscribed. Um, we hit 2,000 subscribers since the last video, and that means we doubled the subscriber count in less than a year, which is pretty good. So. I'm shooting towards doubling it by n next year this time, so we'd hit 4,000 around this time next year. I think if I try to keep just doubling it every year, that's my goal. But I don't know how realistic it is, but I figured the more subscribers we get, the more outreach or more people see the channel, so I don't know. I'm hoping it's more of like a snowball effect, so we'll see what happens, but thank you everyone. So it's been a couple days since that last clip you saw. Um, I just wasn't having very good luck getting this off of here without wrecking it. So I kind of just took a break. I was trying to find if I could just buy this and there are places that sell it, but nobody has it in stock around here anyway. I'm gonna try it again. I have a different tool. So let's see what happens. Of course it would hit that. I wouldn't. One piece off. It's like a twenty dollar savings right there. <laughs> I mean, I think this is gonna work. It's gonna suck, but I shouldn't need a whole lot of it. So I think I'm gonna cut with my saws all down there, just to make a nice end point for all of them, and then just peel all of them off right here. So it takes a little time, but I was able to get all this off. Not too much pain went into that. Um, this crowbar definitely was the trick. I can get on, I'll show you kind of how it works, but you can get on both sides of the stud this way and then pry with it like that. 
and that helps a lot it i wish this end was a little longer because after you get this down there you need to be able to get behind it with this and pry but this one this crowbar has a longer end on it so i was using it for that but i think i'm going to leave these couple on the bottom because this barn is going to start getting pretty weak so um i'm not going to do any higher just because it's a lot harder to get the crowbar up there i actually might even go one uh piece lower because this crowbar is a little too long to get up there and then it hits the roof so if i go one lower it'd probably work a lot better so um i don't know how much more i'll actually need though i have all of this a couple of the pieces broke in half but i have quite a bit um I'm probably going to need more just because I really want to fill in all the windows and the door, the man door opening that was on that garage. I'm going to just take this wall off right here. Uh, I need to move this metal first, so let's get that moved to this pallet. All right, well, we got all the metal moved over here to this pallet, so it should be easier to move around now. I probably need to go get my tractor, get the grapple on, and move all these branches. I cut all these branches off of this tree over here when I was on the roof because I just couldn't get to the roof because it was so crowded with the branches, so. All right, well, as you can see, most of this wall is gone. Not a whole lot of support there. I also found out that most of these 2x6s aren't actually sitting on anything. They're just floating there. I don't really know where a lot of the weight is at. It must be in the corner or on that pole there on the inside. Because most of these aren't really sitting on anything either. And this corner post, or not a corner post, but main post coming down is also rotted off and not sitting on anything. So there's just not a whole lot that this is sitting on. So it's pretty sketchy. I'm pretty sure that inside post right here you can see if you follow that up, that's where that big bulge in the roof is. I'm pretty sure most of the weight of this side is on that. And also there's another one right in here you can barely see. So I assume those are holding most of the weight, but yeah, anyway, I got, these are the salvageable pieces. There were a lot that just kind of split in half and stuff, so I just left those. But hopefully with what I have here and what I have over there, should be enough i also found this little piece inside just laying in there it has it must have just been cut out because there's part of a two by six still attached to it but those are long enough pieces i should be able to salvage some of them so i think i'm going to get all this hauled up to the garage and try to start piecing it together all right well we got all this loaded up hopefully we won't need to come back and get any more so let's get this up to the garage and see how it fits. All right, so next day again. You can see I got the uh, roof all done up there. Both sides are done. And then I just used some flashing for the peak because it just seemed like it would work the best. And it was easy to put up there. So, And then after I got everything all done the, and the ridge cap put on, I went back with some black uh, roof sealer and just filled in every single hole that was in that uh, reused metal. Um, there's still like two or three that I missed that I need to go back and redo, but one tube did the entire garage, but I ran out at the end, so there's like three ones that I missed that I need to go back, but I just didn't really want to open up a whole new tube just for a couple more, so. Anyway, the roof is done, so that's good. I did get a paintable uh, roof sealer too, so the plan is to go back and paint this black so it looks a little nicer. It's mostly my wife's preference, but it's fine. It'll look nice. So now what we need to do is patch the siding. And what I really want to do is get rid of all the windows in it as well and that man door on the other side over there. I don't know if I'm going to have enough siding for that, so I'm going to hold off on the windows for now. Uh, I'm just going to fill in all the holes that I had to make for moving it. And then we're going to patch all this up and patch the top up there and just all the little holes we have. And that back window, I have to put stuff across because 
I did take all the framing out for it. So you can see that there's just no framing left in here. It's just the siding. So we're definitely going to have to cover that one up, which is fine. But these two and this one over here, I didn't take all the framing out. So those hopefully I'll have enough and I'll be able to. But this is all the boards I have. I Yesterday or last night, I got all the nails out of them. So they should be good to go. Hopefully we have enough. Um, I'm going to start with the longer sections and use the longer pieces on those, particularly this front piece. So I'm going to need one that goes all the way across right there and then another one that goes below it and then I got to patch those couple little holes there. So there's definitely some work to do, but it shouldn't be too hard. So what I'm trying to do is find one that's about the right length and that one, believe it or not, I didn't test fit it. so. That one's pretty much the perfect length. Just got cut off maybe an inch and a half. So that'll be fine. All right, we got that board up there. Looks good enough. So now we're gonna start getting the ones all the way across. This is taking a little longer than I expected, <laughs> but it looks all right. It will do for now. I honestly plan on um, redoing the whole siding on this with new stuff, but obviously this is the cheapest option and I can just go right over this with vinyl or metal or whatever I decide to do later. So yeah, it's uh, looking good. I'm pretty happy with it. Once we get painted, it will look a whole lot better, but it'll work for now um i probably need to move to the little sections here those should be pretty simple just one piece in there and then on the back side here this window is a big one here so i'm probably going to need to cut this uh siding off a little bit because it kind of got ruined a little further back so i'll cut that off back further probably at the next stud put a nice long piece in there and then fill in the rest up actually that top piece I'm probably gonna have to cut too because it's notched out for the window so yeah just takes a lot of time and I'm trying to find uh, little pieces that are almost the right length so I don't have to cut off any excess that I am gonna waste or whatever so try to keep the long pieces as long as possible until that's all I have left pretty much so yeah, it's looking good. So I'm probably just going to finish all this siding. This video is probably not going to end having all the siding finished, unfortunately, because it's Friday night right now. And I've been out here every night working on this. It probably doesn't seem like it, but it's taken a little longer than what I expected. And some of the night, some of the days I've been coming out here too, but it's been raining. So it's been a little more difficult, but it's coming along. Um, in the next video, next week actually, I'm hoping to rent a, what do you want to call it, a trencher to trench the power from that box over there over to here and put an electrical box in. I actually bought the electrical box and all the wire, or I have the wire, but all the piping and everything to put that in. So yeah, that will probably be next week unless something else comes up, but that's what I'm playing on right now. So. And hopefully this will be done by then. I, it's hard to say. I'm going to try to get this done this weekend. I have quite a bit of time tomorrow. So maybe if I get this all done tomorrow, you'll see the next clip right now. A little windy today, so sorry about that. But I got all the siding done. The uh, windows, I decided just to put metal in for now. I'm a little unsure about that. So I just put the metal in there. But I got everything patched up that needed to be patched up. So you got that piece in there, got the back all patched up. I also got the door on the other side done. You can see there is no door anymore. But on the outside, that's what it looks like. And I got this done over here as well. 
it all looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Also, again, thank you for all the subscribers. I actually looked again today and it was up to 2017. So yeah, we're doing really good. Thank you very much for that and we'll see you in the next video.